Hi, Brit Lit students. So this week, we've got a couple of things um, happening. Uh, for the class on Monday, you have due for reading two short stories in the textbook, um, one by Catherine Mansfield called The Garden Party, and one by James Joyce called Araby. I'm going to post a video below of um, kind of a, a lectury kind of thing. It's not going to be that long. But where I point out some of the key themes that are very 20th century in these two short stories. So um, the, the first thing to realize is that these two short stories are very similar in that they deal with a young person, a teenager kind of age, who makes kind of a big discovery about the world and it's not very happy. <laughs> like there's this sense of coming of age for these two characters in these short stories but it's a very hard discovery. It's something that is their realization of how broken the world is and how difficult relationships are. Remember we said 20th century is um, moving into this modernism and this way of thinking about the world in these more fractured ways. And so the idea of personal relationship or the idea of community and communal relationships is really kind of falling apart and it's difficult to navigate what those might mean. These two short stories do that really well. So the garden party looks at sort of community relationships um, and then Araby looks at personal relationships. And so these young characters are kind of being forced to grow up and to encounter these ideas in sort of a very adult, very 20th century way. The second half of the week is going to move then into the lyrics of the Beatles. It's a really interesting bridge to make, actually, to go from the idea of personal relationship and personal connection in the short stories and to look at that same idea in the Beatles lyrics. It's, it's fascinating to look at the lyrics that came out of the 20th century and even now in the 21st century, just how much is focused around this sense of connection or the sense of how relationship works, what love is, what connection is. Can you ever really know another person? Like those kinds of questions are deep into our modern day music. So when you see a um, great example and my favorite Beatles song, Eleanor Rigsby, you see this longing for connection. You see two very lonely characters in that song and this sense of um, how do we present ourselves to the world? How do we connect with those around us or not? And what does that mean? And so the, the questions that are asked in the, the short stories carry those forward and use them to ask questions about the Beatles lyrics. So all of the song lyrics, so from the Beatles and from U2 next week, and then also all of the stuff for Monty Python, that's all on Moodle. So make sure you go to Moodle and you click the uh, readings link and then just open up whichever one we're looking at. Um, there are, I think, maybe also some links that may or may not work for you <laughs> to listen to the songs. So anyway, they're easy to find online and on YouTube. So if you're interested in listening to one of the songs from the Beatles or from YouTube and you don't own it or you don't or you're not familiar with it, just look it up. It's uh, really actually pretty easy to do. So this week, major theme, 20th century questions about relationship, about personal connection, and about community connection. Um, just kind of thought the, the Beatles song, Penny Lane, is all about community and who these people are in this sort of idealized memory of what it used to be. Um, so anyway, that's the theme for this week. I look forward to kind of seeing what you have to say about it. I think next week we're going to do one more collaborate where we all get together to discuss some of the song lyrics. So we'll kind of touch on the Beatles. We'll talk about U2 um, and then touch on Monty Python as well, kind of the modern day satire. So have a good week and I will post some more stuff below. Just make sure you work through it. And I look forward to hearing from you.